Okay, so today's a little crazy. We have a lot going on. So it's about 10 o'clock in the morning. We are about to head to my trainers where Annie and Jordy are, but we're not going empty handed. We're taking Wheezy, my two year old filly with us and I'm doing a little swap. So Annie is coming home cause she's gonna be a mama again and we got a breeder. Wheezy's gonna go to training and I'm also picking up a little extra something while I'm there. I'm gonna let y'all just see what that is. <laughs> I gotta go give Erlene a shot because we're breeding her today. So, you know, we checked her yesterday. She was ready. Oh, she's outside. I'm gonna get Joel to do it. She's just been at home. Excuse me, you're getting too tall for this, ma'am. Isn't she big? <laughs> she's already 16 hands for a two year old. Her mom is 16 two and her daddy's 17 hands, but I know her daddy throws them big. He has some really big babies out there. So I would not be shocked if she hit 17 hands. Oh, honey. Good girl. Good girl. We don't want to get your tail hung. Looky there. But that's also what happens when you handle your babies from day one. When you challenge them with kind of scary things and they already have a trust in you and they've already been handled by you it's not always as hard. I see Bella's mama. The little babies. Is Jordy out here right now? No, he's not. Hey. How are you? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's perfect. Hi, honey. Did we live? Hi, doggies. Look at the ground. Well, okay. They never look at the ground. How are you? Come on, honey. You're okay. Oh, she's about to get so <laughs> used to things. I think she'll be okay. Also, she goes out with other horses. She's ne she's been out with like a ton of different ones and like has never been a issue horse. Um, hi, Jordy. Um, hi, Jordy. Honey. Hi, honey. Hi. Well, Missy, I guess I guess let's see about that kennel real quick because I I don't I want to put him in first so that I can unload her. Oh my gosh, look at the whole the whole barn. They're so funny. All right, let me. I'm sorry, this is cringy, but I have to do it. They look identical. They are so cute. Okay, I want to take that one home. I told myself no baby goats though. <laughs> That's them like older. Like they're like eight weeks old. Did you see the little flurry look alike in there? Yes. He's so cute. I love the goat stampede. Well, look, that one's trying to escape. He's so bad. He's so bad. He I'm look just, at him with his little face. He's like, let me out so I can go romance my mother. He's romancing a lady right now, so. And then this is Flurry. Flurry, you're coming home with me, buddy. He's nasty. He's all peed on. He pees on. The yellow on your face is what you think it is. They're nasty. All right, Flurry, we're getting in the kennel. He is so funny. He's like a dog. Oh, he's got to lay down. Good boy. What a good boy you are. Well behaved, goat. What's wrong with y'all? Poor boy. Goat trafficking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. Perfect. Perfect fit. <laughs> She'll be fine. Annie. Oh, look at that. <laughs> 
and then we face it to where we can just take them out when we get home. Perfect. Poor Flurry. Poor Flurry. <laughs> Annie, you're so pretty. Listen to Flurry. She's going to be like, what the? Oh, I can already smell him. Disgusting. That was so much more quick and painless than I thought it was gonna be. Like, she loaded up so good. Everybody loaded up so good. Those are like big babies. Like, yeah. those are like ready to go home babies. The half of it's done. Now we gotta go home, take them all out, and then we gotta go pick up some semen at the airport. So we just dropped off Annie. Um, so happy to have her home. I, I've missed her. I've missed having a horse at home to ride consistently. And she is going to be bred again to have a baby um, for next year. So that's exciting. But now we're taking Mr. Flurry over to meet his ladies. So Bella and Buttercup better get ready. Oh, look at them all coming. Why are you hurrying, girls? What's your hurry? Okay, so today is a pretty fun day. We've been running all over the world. We still have errands to do, but in the middle of it, I went and took Wheezy to training, brought Annie home, but I didn't just come home with Annie. I also brought home a fella for Miss Buttercup and Bella. Um, they are my two oldest female goats, and I do have a couple that I don't plan on breeding right now, Bubbles, um, you know, with her fainting and she locks up all the time, I just don't know if I want to breed her. And then Blossom is way too young. And the daddy we brought is actually her daddy. So can't be doing that. But let me go ahead and get Flurry off the trailer and bring him to his late. <coughs> it's a pretty big rig for just a little goat. <laughs> Can you fit? Oh, he's ready, y'all. I know. It's a new place. It's a little different. I promise you, we got the women. Come on. Karen's like, uh-uh. I ain't having none of that. All right. I'm going to just let him go. Flurry, you're going the wrong way. Your women are up there. Are you scoping out my fencing to see if you can get out? Dolly and Blanche are like, what is that? Are you inspecting my waterers? They're not in yet. I'm sorry, they're not to your standard. No, don't get in there. That's not what that's for. <laughs> Look at them down there being so nosy. Oh, they're like, hey, uh, ponies, can we maybe come in here with you? Nope, okay. So it's about to start pouring rain. It's thundering. Um, Mr. Flurry met his women. They have somewhere to get out of the rain. We are gonna to go to the airport and pick up semen to breed Erlene this evening. So we're gonna to have to end it up here. Um, I think there's gonna be plenty of updates to come. So stay tuned. <laughs> So for years, I have come to the same air freight office to pick up semen. Now, you only have to do that when your semen is counter to counter, meaning same day shipped. So Waylon was collected this morning and then they put it on an airplane like immediately. And so that is how we needed to breed Erlene because she was like ready to breed. Well, 
they tore down the whole building and I'm the person that like, if I don't like, once I know where I'm good at going, I'm good. But then when things are changed up, I'm like, I, I don't know what to do. So we've been driving around trying to figure out where to go. Finally, we had to stop and ask someone. They changed everything around and they put the American Airlines air freight office like within the building. So you have to go in there and find it. So I'm just like, I want my old building back. It was dingy and awesome. So let's go. We were going to a CMA fest that day. Are you serious? Yes. Oh my god. You are so uh, extra. Wait, wait, wait. Nathan. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy it. Good luck. Enjoy the semen. Good luck, guys. Thank you. Thank you. So yesterday, Erlene had a four and a half centimeter follicle. Usually that's either pretty close to ovulation or sometimes they'll go over a five centimeter. We've never bred Erlene before, so or we tried to last year. We haven't actually gotten it to take. That was a whole other story. But anyway, um, we're gonna go ahead and breed her with some VS Code Red semen. I am so excited. I, need I know to, she's in good heat right now. I need to get that box open. Hopefully she still has this um, follicle. So it's a smaller unit and it's a wireless Watch out. Watch probe. Your this probe connects wirelessly to the iPad. So it's wired in right now. Hey buddy, watch out. Um, because I haven't charged, I need to charge it overnight. Uh oh, I did the wrong I'm side. that's the only problem. So I've got to keep it plugged in, but it's still communicating with the, um, this little. I did the wrong side, bud. Android device wirelessly. Y'all, look at the sticker on the syringe. <laughs> I'm having a little bit of a moment. This is my first ever breeding dose to VS Code Red since I bought him. So this is, this is pretty cool. So I'm looking for edema and fluid. I want to see edema, I don't want to see fluid. We flushed her yesterday, and then I want to see that follicle too. So I'm seeing edema, which is good. And then there's a follicle. Yeah, oh yeah. She got it. So we'll, we'll, we'll snap a picture of that. Yeah. Then we'll go back to it and measure it here in a second. That's the left ovary. And then the right ovary just has a bunch of little ones. She was at like 4.5 yesterday. Okay. She's at like a, still the same. Okay. 45. Is that bad? That she's at the same? Mm -hmm. it's, it's fine. Okay. Once they get over a 40, I mean, that looks so pretty. It's nice and plump and it's not irregular. It, it looks good. Good. Okay. So do your kids want baby goats? Because I'll be, I could be your goat dealer. <laughs> they want goats and sheep and do more dogs and chickens. I can make the baby goat thing happen. Oh. Oh. I'm holding her so I can't take a picture of him doing it, but it'll be on the YouTube video, okay? Mm. Abigail left me, so she left like 30 minutes ago. I was like, of course. All right. It's in? It's in, it's way up in there. Just needs to go up and to the left and we'll be good to go. You're giving everything to that baby, aren't you, Maggie? So she's got a follicle, we just need to measure it. She has a little edema too, meaning she's not in like, I don't think she's in flaming heat, but she's not like far she's off from in. it. She looks like she has more edema than she did yesterday. That's good. Her tract is big from having that baby. It's kind of, I guess I 
newer over here. There it is. So that's the left. Let me see if I can save that. That's the left. Take a picture. And then I'll go back to the right. Oh. She's got a um, an old ovulation right there, and then a nice follicle right there. Thursday, the next thing we're flying semen in, and it's like full, full, full swing. <laughs> now we're doing an embryo I'm transfer. In <laughs> yeah, I'm in a dug blind <laughs> on Saturday. So here we go. Well, it's starting. That's how it happens. I just cause problems. It's okay. Okay, so if you didn't get that between me and him talking. So because she has good edema, meaning she's coming into heat, there's like inflammation in there. And then her follicle grew a half centimeter. So she's now a half centimeter behind uh, Erlene. So if we give her a shot of hysterellin to make her ovulate in the next couple of days, um, that could potentially have her be the perfect recip for Erlene. So it, again, it's kind of at that situation during the year where if it works out, it works out. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. But it's like, you know, as of right now, things are going well. <clears throat> Do I need to give her anything in the morning? No. Okay. So Beyonce, like I, um, I don't know if I mentioned earlier, but I actually sold an embryo of Beyonce's. So we're checking her right now to see if she's ready to breed tonight or if we need to breed her tomorrow. And then about seven to eight days from now, we will take her to the clinic. She will be flushed. We will um, you know, collect the embryo if it's there. And then we will ship the embryo to the buyers who will put it into their own recip mare. And then they will get to fold it out and they will own that baby. So pretty cool. She was out in the rain all day. <clears throat> you had fun out in the mud, didn't you? Do y'all ship a lot of embryos? We ship a lot to Texas. Yeah, for, to their big recip place. Yeah, to the big recip outfits. We ship some to Florida. She already went. She already ovulated? Yeah. yeah. Is it, has it been too long to even throw it in there? <clears throat> so that's on the left. I'll have to look back and see where she had it. That's where she ovulated, it looks like, or resorbed, one of the two. Yeah, she must she, she must have been like right on. We checked her yesterday and had already clear already cleared her edema. She has a, she has zero edema now. It's kind of concentric. It gets concentric after they ovulate. And then that's where. She's got a small one right there and then that spot. I, know, I wouldn't I wouldn't put it in her because we don't know exactly when she ovulated. If she okay. was sensitive, like if I put mashed on this ovary or put a little pressure on the ovary and she flinched, like I'm putting pressure on it now, and if she was flinching or wincing, I'd say let's do it. Because a good indication of how recent it is is how sensitive that ovary is. Mm -hmm. For the first two to four hours after they ovulate, they're pretty sensitive. And when you when you put pressure on it, they'll wince or flinch. Right. And she's not doing that, so hmm. it would be um, you know, you're Yeah, just a risk and kind of a long shot. Yeah. Well, let's okay, so if we were gonna short cycler, what do we do now? If you're gonna short cycler, you're gonna take um, count five days. So I like to do it on a Thursday. So you okay. got all day Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, that's five full days. Okay. So I'd do it on a Thursday and then start checking her the first of that following week. Okay. I'll talk to the people that bought the embryo and see if they would have a reset mare available if we did that. Yeah. Um, okay. And then we'll go from there. Yeah. Yeah. That, you know, that stinks, but it's early season. I mean, we were just kind of figuring it out and it was kind of like if it worked, it worked and it just didn't. So now we're coming at oh, it with save that dose how many doses do you have left three okay we'll save it tomorrow if, if Erlene doesn't ovulate then Dr. Well, Raina can use it okay 
So this, you know, checkup didn't necessarily go exactly how we had planned. We really wish Beyonce had either, you know, waited to ovulate so we could have bred her tonight, but we can't be too picky because Erlene is being amazing. She is being textbook at the moment. We are hoping that she follows through by ovulating tomorrow. And then Maggie is amazing because she went ahead and caught up to Erlene as a day behind her, which is pretty much perfect to use her as a recip for Erlene. So we're crossing our fingers that all of that works out and that they both ovulate in a timely manner. And then we will be doing an, ov an ovulation, Jesus, Katie, an embryo transfer next weekend. So not a bad first breeding for 2024. I have to say that. Well, I hope you, <laughs> it's late, okay. I hope you enjoyed this. I know a lot has happened like from the get-go. We haven't really had like a slow entry into it because the first time ever I had mares checked, we decided to breed Erlene. So if you have any questions that you want me to clarify on, um, any topics that you would like me to deep dive into going into breeding season so you have a better understanding, let me know in the comments and I will try to integrate that into future videos. Hope you comment and like and subscribe. Those three things help my channel out so much. Thank you all so much for the support and I'll see you in the next one.